is it frozen? No, we're good. Hello, Cindy. Hi, Jilly. Let's see, we're trying to get this all situated. I think we just about got it. All right. All right, hello, hello, everyone. If you guys are stopping by, drop a quick comment just to say hello. We're gonna get into all the new release fun very soon. Hello, Julia. Thank you. Thank you so much. I've got my new work surface. I've got my Ulfa Deluxe cutting mat all ready to go. Hello, Helen. Hello, Janice. Hello, Antoinette. Hello, Rose. All right, everyone's stopping by. Hello, Trish. can move just a little bit. I'm trying to make sure I'm reducing any sort of shadow. You know what? I think that'll work. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. It was my glue bottle. All right. Hello, hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome. I hope you all are having an absolutely fantastic Wednesday night. Um, I am Justin Adkins. I am both a member of the paper education team here at ThermoWeb, and I am also an admin in our ThermoWeb craft room group. If you guys have tuned into a live before, I know that you've seen me, heard me talk. We've all gotten to know each other, but if you are here for the very first time, I wanted to take a moment just to welcome you and thank you for joining. Um, it's a very special week here at ThermoWeb. We have our brand new deco foil release this week where ThermoWeb has gone ahead and released a new toner card front pack along with a new adhesive transfer design set. Um, and it's all about love and all about the upcoming Valentine's Day holiday. But let's be honest, hearts and love can be spread year round. So while it might be perfect for February, it's really perfect for the whole year. So I did go ahead and let's go ahead. We'll get this out of the way. I did go ahead and get this card. This is the card that we're going to be making tonight. It's just a very simple card that says you are loved and it uses all the new products. We've got a lot of foil going on. We've got our toner card front going on. Lots and lots of fun. So we're gonna be recreating this tonight. And of course, as I'm crafting along, if you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. Um, and also really important tonight, we do have a giveaway for our new release and it is gonna be a prize pack giveaway. Those of you who were in the event for the group, um, I know we don't go live in the event, but we use it just to set a little bit of a reminder for y'all. I always try to give you as many details as possible about what is going to be given away. So those of you who have been in the event, you already know. Um, those of you who are not in the event, I'll let you know a little bit later what we're giving away tonight. But make sure you're making a comment so we can pull a winner from uh, for the uh, prize later on today. And let's get into a little bit of crafting. And let's, you know, let's check in really cute. Oh, hello, Lauren, Joan, and Julissa. Hello, hello, and hello, Christine and Don. Don, you are so sweet. Thank you so much, and thank you, Helen. Um, how about we start with a little bit of a closer look at what was just newly released? And we're gonna start with our adhesive transfer design. I've already got it all out of its paper, or paper, its package. Oh my goodness, it's a long day, y'all. All right, so we're gonna put our card off to the side. We'll revisit this later, but I wanted to give you guys a little bit of a closer look at the adhesive transfer design. And this is our Love and Kisses set that just came out. Um, so as you can see, it's absolutely wonderful for all things love, all things Valentine's Day, spread in love all year round. 
you've got a lot of fun love sentiments. You've got a love with the heart in it. You've got an always appropriate, I love you, perfect for Valentine's Day, anniversaries, or just a little friendly reminder in the mail. We've got another sentiment that says, I adore you. We've got hugs and kisses, which pairs perfectly with all of the lip prints that we have going on. We have another version of I love you, but it's just an I heart you. We've got you are loved and you're my favorite. I, I think that you're my favorite is honestly one of my favorites from this set just because it's so big and bold. Um, and then on top of it, we've got a bunch of really fun images that you can use as well. We've got three very large hearts. We've got a polka dot heart, a solid heart, and like a candy striped heart. We've got a bunch of little itty bitty hearts. Some are just super tiny. Some have a little bit of like, um, I don't know what you call it, like a light shine line in there just to give a little bit of reflectiveness. We've got a couple small lips. We've got five really big lips and then another heart down here. So this is super, super fun. You're going to get a lot of use out of this set. Um, and it's especially if you want to craft with all of these fun hearts. I know that I, the paper education team has made some fantastic paper crafting samples. Um, oh my gosh. I know that somebody had made a really fun design using the hearts with the a scrapbook layout that was really cool. And I want to, was it Larissa or was it somebody else in the paper education team recently discovered, and this was a first time for me, but of course you can use it that way. You can also use these with your embossing powders, which is really fun. It's a new way to use it that you haven't maybe thought of yet. And it's going to be a really fun way to stretch your stash. So, all right. So yes, this is a super, super fun set. Um, and then I also want to show you guys the two new prints in our toner card fronts. And it is the Love Struck set. So I've got the toner card fronts right in front of me. You're gonna get four designs of each. Yes, yeah, so you're gonna get, so there's two designs, four of each, eight pieces total. I was worried I was telling you guys the wrong thing and I'm not, we're all good. And you've got a really fun heart print and an arrow print, which is just, it gives you all those Cupid vibes. But honestly, this arrow print can be used for so many different types of cards. Let me show you guys a little bit closer as to what these are gonna look like. So, all right, we've got the arrows. Let me get a heart one out just so I've got it ready to go. So the arrows, what we're going to be using tonight, we'll get a closer look at that and then we'll move on to the hearts. And this is just a really fun sort of graphic design. Some of the arrowheads have openings. Some of them are solid. It's just a really nice design. It's perfect also if you guys want to make any sort of masculine cards. It's going to be perfect for any sort of like outdoorsy sort of project as well. Um, just because I think arrows lend themselves really well to it. If you've got a kiddo who's in summer camp and you're making a scrapbook layout, I could absolutely see this matting some photos. Um, lots of fun ways to use Use this not just in the terms of like love and Valentine's Day cards but you're gonna get a lot of fun use out of this one next we've got our hearts and I'm gonna bring this a little closer so you guys can see because these hearts are a little scribbly um, as you can see there are, it's kind of like the shape of a heart and then it's kind of scribbled I'm trying to show you guys the best that I can. I don't know if it's focusing very well. Um, oh, it's doing a decent job. But as you can see, it's like the shape of a heart outline. And then you go in and it's kind of like a scribbled on the inside. Really lots of fun. They're in a crisscross pattern. So there's a lot of fun ways to use this. I love that it's in a landscape orientation. So you're going to be able to make some really fun landscape cards. But with the arrows, you can use it in a portrait or in a landscape mode. Either way is going to work. So we're gonna use the arrow design tonight. Let me make sure I'm not missing any comments. Dawn says, Justin, camping theme is terrific. Love that idea for the arrows. I think it's just super fun. Any sort of outdoorsy card, and you could really have fun with like blues and greens with it. I really wanted to capture the love of the release, and that was kind of like where my mind was going with everything. But I did think, I'm like, you know what? Like, that would be a really fun way to make a masculine card with this toner card front. So that's something to keep in mind for in the future. Um, why don't we go ahead, what are we gonna do first? Oh, I say we get into a little bit of foiling first. We'll get into ink blending later. I always like to do my foiling first because I have my laminator preheated and the sooner that I've got my foiling done, the sooner I'm going to be able to put my laminator away and turn it off. So let's go ahead, I'm gonna put my mat off to the side. I'll bring it back in a little bit. All right, oh, I got a little bit of a... So what we're gonna go ahead and do is let's start by foiling our toner card front. 
I agree, Melanie. The arrows are very, very versatile and they're definitely gonna be good on your shopping list. Absolutely, Melanie. So I am going to be using, this is our Wild Cherry Deco Foil. And it's a really good like hot pink color. It's got a lot of red to it, um, but it definitely still has that pink tone. So we're gonna use that tonight for the background. And let's go ahead, let me see. I don't think I have anything pre-cut. All right. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I always like to kind of measure it out first. So I've got that, set this off to the side. And I do have to show you guys, I just recently got this new Ulfa rotary trimmer. Oh my goodness, this cuts like butter. I absolutely adore this trimmer. I know recently I was using another brand of trimmer that I just got off the internet. I came across this one recently and I just love how well it trims. It's gonna work so well with your foils, both your regular deco foils, but also in addition to that, your hot foils as well, I've been working with it. It's got a really nice sort of uh, removable cover as well, so you can keep protected until you're ready to use it. So let's go ahead and we're gonna trim this. Look at that, I don't even have to struggle. Ugh, I love it. Just a wonderful trimmer, you guys. All right, we're gonna set this off to the side. And what I'm gonna go ahead and do is let me go ahead and grab my microfiber cloth. We're gonna do a little bit of cleaning. Dawn says this is her favorite red foil. It's a really good foil. And it's like, ugh, I knew I had to use it for, for this just cause it gives me so many like love vibes. I adore it. All right, so I am wiping my toner card front off with a microfiber towel, and I am wiping my foil off as well, and I'm trying to be very careful. All right, just like that. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do, is we're gonna put this in here, just like that. All right, and then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna grab my uh, craft carrier sheet pouch. Very well loved, I've gotten a lot of use out of this. Probably is time to be replaced sometime soon, but hey, that's okay. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do, we're gonna flip this. We're gonna put it in our carrier sheet. And we're gonna process it through. All right, I'm gonna grab my laminator so you guys can see it. All right, and then we're gonna go ahead and process. Move my cloth off to the side. The microfiber towel is a huge benefit to when you're using these foils. Absolutely, Juissa. The rotor cutters, Kathy, the rotary cutters are so perfect. They cut like butter. You don't have to worry about like holding it and cutting it with scissors um, because sometimes the foil, because it's so delicate, it can kind of bunch a little bit and you don't get those jagged lines. That's why I love using the rotary trimmers. And it does, they work so perfect for cutting both paper and fabrics. And I am using an Ulfa cutting mat as well on top of it. So it's working very nicely. All right. So I also wanted to give you guys a little bit of a tip. I know that sometimes using toner sheets can feel a little temperamental and you wanna make sure that you're getting the best transfer as possible. One thing that you can do, I know I processed it through once, but you can rotate that, keeping it in your pouch and you can run it through a second time. I'm just trying to make sure it's all lined up the way that I want it to be. Perfect. And we're just gonna run it through a second time. You know, just give ourselves that extra assurance that everything is gonna transfer the way that we need it to. So it's a really good tip for using it. All right. And if you have any questions, be sure to let me know. I'll do my best to answer them. Um, but I'm really excited to do the peel reveal on this one. Hello, Lisa. Thank you for stopping by, friend. I hope you're having a wonderful day. All right. Does anybody else get like a little impatient waiting for your items to run through your laminator? Because that happens to me. And I sit here and I'm just like, kind of like mentally tapping my fingers, ready for it to be done, but you don't want to rush it. You want everything to turn out. So you just try your patience the best as possible. All right, we'll move our laminator off to the side. And let's go ahead and get our peel reveal going. All right. Let's 
doing a nice peel. And then we'll do a closer look at it. Ooh, and I can save this for another card. Ooh, all right. So let's go ahead. I'm gonna try to get this shine going so you guys, there we go. See that? It's beautiful. I know it's a little off. There we go. It's really capturing that pink color. I got a really good transfer. Ugh, it's wonderful. I love it. So we've got that and we're gonna put it off to the side. I am going to also set aside this background that I'll be able to use for a future card as well. Or a shaker window, you never know. It could come up in any certain way. All right, so what I wanna do next is we're gonna set this off to the side, but I also want to do some more foiling. And I do have this extra piece of the um, foil of the Wild Cherry, and I have a full toner card front. So I'm gonna go ahead and use that. Now what I'm gonna do is, if you guys can see, there's like a line right here, which is probably an imperfection from me accidentally scratching the foil. And that's okay, we're gonna use this to our benefit today. So we're actually gonna use that section and I'm gonna make sure I cover over it. So hold on. So let's go ahead, just like that. We'll take our Ulfa trimmer, just like that, perfect. All right, and this scrap I can put away for later. Let's go ahead, we'll wipe this off. Now I wanna take a moment while I'm sitting here and playing around with my Wild Cherry Deco Foil. Thermal Web has gone ahead and on the website made a section just perfect for Valentine's Day and it's called Love is in the Air. Um, I do have that section linked on my blog and it's just an area of the website that if you're looking to have any sort of inspiration for the Valentine's Day projects you may have coming up, we've got all of our products that sort of fit the bill for that in one place for you to find them. There are also some items in that category that are on sale, so be sure to check it out. Who doesn't like to get a little bit of savings and get items for your upcoming Valentine's Day projects? So be sure to check that out. Also too, for those of you who may not have made a Thermal Web purchase before or are interested in checking out the Love is in the Air section, you can also subscribe to the Thermal Web newsletter via the website and you will get a discount code uh, for 10% off your first purchase. So that's always helpful. But if you're like me, I'm well past being eligible for that coupon code, so. But make sure you sign up. It's also a great way if you're a member of our e-newsletter list that you, they send you notifications whenever we've got a new release going on, whenever I'm gonna be going live. It's just a great way to stay up to date with all things Thermal Web. Oh, Sandy, I'm so, so glad that you're here. Thank you for stopping by. Mary, do you know what type of material clear clean stamps are attached? I have a set without the top plastic. Um, what Mary said is correct, it is like an acetate. Oh, and thank you, Dawn, for piping in. Yes, that discount code will not work on newer sale items, but it works on full price ones, absolutely. And I apologize for any confusion with that. All right, now I'm getting my impatience is being tested. listening right now too to like the outside of my den space which is where I'm always go live it's my crafting area and it sounds like it might be raining or something I don't know all right let's go ahead let's rotate this and process it through still using of course that wild cherry deco foil love this color just so much I know I need to do a little bit better job of putting my things off to the side, but it's not, you know, I'm doing pretty good. I'm doing pretty good. It's been raining all day here. Oh, Julie, I hate to hear that. It's been just so gray by me. I'm in the Chicago suburbs, y'all. So it's just not been the most pleasant lately weather-wise. I haven't gotten a lot of sun. It's made it a little difficult to photograph my crafting projects as well that I'm not really a fan of, but I work with what I have. So you do what you gotta do. Um, but I'm ready for some longer days and a little bit of sunshine. All right, let's check. Ooh, Dawn says it's been snowing by her. All right. So let's go ahead and check. Do another peel reveal. 
All right, y'all. You guys, this is like a perfect transfer. There's no foil. I'm gonna put this right next to it. Oh my goodness. Oh, this, this is, this is at least like a 99.9% .9 accuracy. I'm just sitting here just kind of enjoying how good of a job this is. Ooh, you guys gotta get yourself some of these toner sheets and it is part of today's prize pack giveaway. We will be giving away some of that, uh, the toner sheets from Deco Foil and some of this wild cherry Deco Foil as well. So this will be part of our giveaway. You know what, also, I've used all of this so I really can't even save it for scraps. So that's fantastic. Isn't this great? Oh my good. And you guys really can see that color a lot better. This is what that wild cherry is. Just like a deep red violet. Oh, I love it. It gives me, if you guys are into Copic markers, if you color with them, it gives me somewhere between like an RV55 and an RV66. Somewhere in between that you would find this wild cherry deco foil. All right. Now what I'm going to go ahead and do. Oh, fooey. I'm supposed to do a little bit of die cutting, there it is. So I'm going to stretch my stash a little bit tonight because I wanna go back to the original card that I made and show you guys what I'm about to do. So as you can see for my card, the outline of it, I do have some of that wild cherry deco foil, but I also used it for this background piece of this fancy scallop die cut. What I actually did is I went ahead and I put this right here in the center. And we're gonna take a little bit of pixie tape, just a little bit, not too much, just to kind of hold it in place. And I'm gonna go ahead and tack it down right here. And we'll do a little bit more down here. I'd like to use as little as possible because I don't want it to interfere with the project. And I'm gonna kind of get a two for one out of this. So let's go ahead, I'm gonna get my die cutting machine out. You guys are going to see me use my manual die cutting machine. All right. And then I'm going to have to clean that up in a second. Thank you so much, Julia. Yes, I did use one of our solid toner sheets from Deco Foil for it. So I've always got to remember how I do this sandwich. So it's the platform and then the cutting plate. This goes on top. And then this goes like this. All right. Process this through. There we go. Oop. Yeah, I think that should be good. Oh, and I forgot that I'm gonna have to poke all those little things out. That's okay. All right. That's the one thing about this fancy scallop die that's a little difficult is I'm gonna have to poke all this out. But I've got this. Oh, you know, then some of them came out too, so that's nice. All right, so I'm gonna remove this very carefully. All right, and I'm gonna put this die away. I'm gonna put my plates away. I will clean them off after my live. Let's go ahead and roll up our foil really quickly just so I can get this off of my workspace. And it's like I said, we're saying goodbye to the wild cherry foil by Deco Foil. All right. Thank you very much. And I do need to go in with my poke tool. Where is my poke tool? There we go. I'm just gonna kind of pop out some of these little holes. So if you guys have any questions about anything that I've done so far, now would be a good time to ask them as I'm just gonna be doing a little bit of poking. This will take me about a minute or two. I agree, two for one tips when it comes to your foiling are really important because it stretches your stash. You know, like we all work with limited budgets to some extent and some degree. And if you can make one piece, well, if, if you're able to do an A2 size piece of a toner sheet and transfer foil to it, you wanna get as much use out of it as you can, you know? I love these toner sheets though. It's like you literally get to make your own foiled paper. All right, so I poked it all out. Mm, that one there. All right. Mm. So you're, you're getting me while I'm doing something like very tedious, so I get quiet with it, but that's okay. I think just about good. All right, so let me clean this really quickly. All right. 
Let's get a little bit of ink blending on before we start working with the new adhesive transfer designs. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna get my ink blending mat. I don't wanna blend directly on top of my craft mat. I wanna prevent any bit of staining. Uh, Jilly says, is the transfer sheet still in black? Yes, our um, toner transfer sheets are still solid black. I have toner sheets I purchased pre-pandemic. Should they expire? No, Mary, I don't think they expire. No, I, I don't think they do. I don't know if there's a shelf life on them. I could be wrong, but I know the ones that I use I've had a handful of times, or I've had for a, hand, a long period of time. So I think you should be okay. Oh, and there goes my little thing, my little microfiber towel. That's okay. All right, so what I've gone ahead and done is I've pre-cut a piece of blending cardstock so it'll fit right inside of here, just really nicely nestled in here. We're gonna do a little bit of ink blending. Yep, and like Julia said, Mary, that is a great um, tip, is to make sure that you do wipe it off before using it. All right, we're gonna use a little bit of sponge sugar. And we're gonna tap off the excess. We're just gonna ink blend the corners or the edges rather. And I'm using a brush instead of using a foam blender because I wanna really get a nice soft effect to it. And I feel like brushes are the, are the tool that does that the best. So I'm just kind of building that up. Probably gonna blend over this area a little bit to get a better blend. It's kind of a harsh line that I got, but that's okay. Nothing a little bit of embellishing won't fix, you know? And this is just spun sugar. Let me grab my acrylic block. All right. Now also, while I'm ink blending, I wanted to let y'all know that for our release week, in addition to our giveaway tonight, we do have another giveaway going on on the blog tonight. Um, we are giving away a $40 gift certificate to uh, the ThermoWeb website. You can actually enter through my blog post for this project. Um, there may be a couple blog posts on the blog where you're able to enter, but you will be able to enter through mine. It's a great extra opportunity to throw your hat into the ring and potentially win a thermal web gift certificate who doesn't want to get a little bit of shopping on you know all right just trying to prevent those harsh lines I'm doing okay I am doing a okay I agree, Dawn. Spun Sugar is a really good color for Valentine's Day. I kind of struggled with this. I was going to do Kitsch Flamingo. That's kind of my pink go-to when it comes to distressed colors. But I was like, you know what? Let's go with this Spun Sugar color. And it, it blends up really nicely. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and put this off to the side. And let's just wipe really quickly. And I'll move this off to the side. And let's have a little bit of fun with our uh, adhesive transfer designs. So we're going to go ahead. Now, for my original card, y'all, I did use the heart with the polka dots. Do you want to see me use the polka dot hearts again? Or would you rather see me use one of the other two designs, like the stripes or the heart? Just let me know. We're going to use the same sentiment of you are loved. Um, but if you guys want to see another one in action, I'd be more than happy to change up the design for you. Just let me know. Oh, Julissa, thank you so much. All right, and I've got my, I also have some new scissors from Ulfa too that I'm using that are cutting through this very nicely. They fit into my hands perfectly. All right, let's see. We got some votes coming in. We've got stripes, two stripes. We've got a polka dot. We've got three stripes, four stripes, five. We've got six. I think it's going to be stripes, y'all. Yep, we'll use the stripes tonight. So it's going to be a little bit different from our original card that we created then. But that's okay. We're going to see more designs in action. I'd rather show you guys uh, what you want to see. So absolutely. So we'll go ahead and we'll use that. Go ahead and trim this off. All right, so we've got the you are loved. Good thing I can see it. And all right. Let's go ahead and trim this striped heart out. You 
Yeah, Julie, I don't think we've had any sort of a price change recently, or at least not to my knowledge. So that's good that you're finding that as well. I'm glad to hear that you're happy about that. All right, so we've got the stripes, we've got the you are loved, and that means that my adhesive transfer design can go away. Perfect. All right, let's check to see if we've got any questions. Nope. All right, I think we're good. Oop, sorry about that, y'all. Let's see. Go ahead and put a block there. I don't know why, I guess my unit might be a little top heavy at the moment, that's okay. All right, is it necessary to fussy cut around the image? You don't have to do a really in-depth fussy cutting. Um, you just kind of want to cut the shape off. You don't want a bunch of excess acetate on there. However, um, a little bit is uh, fine. But you don't have to do it too, too much. Like, this is a little haphazard. It's not perfect by any count. I'm trying to see how you guys can see it best, but it's not very good. I didn't do like a perfect job, but it works. All right, so let's go ahead and start getting these into place. Yay. All right, let me grab tweezers. That might be the most helpful for me. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and try to center this the best that I can. That's pretty good. Yeah, let's... You know what? Might be a little higher than the other one, but that's okay. All right, let's do the You Are Loved. Dawn says, a little easier to handle with a bit of an acetate edge so you don't accidentally touch the adhesive. That's a great tip. I agree with it. All right, and this is probably the least I've ever had to struggle with my fingernails getting these acetate bits off. All right, so let's go ahead. I think that's pretty good. All right, so we've got that all in place and let's go ahead and put it, I don't even need to really put it with this piece of cardstock. We're just gonna put it right into our sleeve. just so it gets nice and heated up. Oh, sorry about that. You guys get to see my little bit of a cheat sheet over there. All right. Perfect, process this through. And then I am gonna really quickly, while that's processing, I've got the red deco foil that I'm going to go ahead and just cut a small piece from. Let's see. Doesn't need too much of this, but just enough. Perfect. This is the red deco foil. Like I was saying, we're gonna be using this for the other part of the card. So I'm gonna go ahead and push this off to the side just for a minute. No stamps. Yeah, super easy, super fun. Absolutely, Julissa. All right, so let's go ahead. Ooh, my machine sounds angry. All right, so we're gonna go ahead with the You Are Loved. Put this into place. Let's see if I can trim off some of the excess. Y'all, I love this trimmer. Great addition to the crafts, craft arsenal, as I call it sometimes. All right, and then let's go ahead and use my tweezers. there. You can probably trim this a little more just by eyeballing it. All right. Like 
that and put it in my sleeve. Get a little back over. All right. Did the heart and arrow design sell out? I can't find it anymore. Trying to order. I don't think it sold out, Jilly. You can search Love Struck or you can uh, search Love and Kisses. Um, you may be able to find it there. You can also use my blog. I've got the links on the blog, Jilly. Um, that'll direct you, to, uh, direct you right to the product listings. All right. All right, before I, let's do the peel reveal first and then we'll do a little bit of cleanup. All right, y'all, let's go. See, it says you are loved. And then let's see this heart. I'm very excited for the heart. Oh, the heart is gorgeous. Just a nice little you are loved. Let's see, let's do, so you guys can catch the light with it. Super pretty. This would also be really good with the Radiant Red Fancy Foil, um, just with a little bit of sparkle. I think that would be really cute. And I can save the negative of this too for later. All right, so this can get put away. And let's do just a little bit of cleanup. I don't need my uh, laminator anymore, so I'm gonna turn this off. That's not off, that's the cold. You don't need cold. All right, and then let's go ahead and put my red foil away. Thank you so much, Mary, it's super pretty. When should you put it through twice versus one time? It's really up to personal preference. Um, I usually, with my adhesive transfers, I just like to do it once. Um, it usually works pretty well for me. Toner sheets, I feel like could be a little bit more fickle at times, um, or you want like that little extra bit of confidence. So that's why I like to process it twice. All right, put that away. Attached to a chocolate mousse pie. Ooh, candy, that sounds delicious. <laughs> I am in the mood for dessert. All right, so let's go ahead. I'm gonna use my Tape Runner XL. Oh, Christopher, might it be like a static red foil? Now that could be really pretty. Why do you use the cardstock and sometimes you don't? You know what? Um, that cardstock really helps with the toner sheets because it gives a little bit more firmness to processing it through. And sometimes with the toner sheets, you need that extra like stability just to make sure that it transfers. I usually keep it in there, but with these adhesive transfer designs, I don't really need that extra stability. I just wanna make sure that the adhesive part is heating up nicely. And that's why I took it out today. But you can leave it in there. It's all really personal preference. I do think that that extra little piece really helps with toner sheets. So I would say absolutely if you're gonna do it, um, do it then in that instance. But it's not a necessity all the time. All right. Oh, right next to Wranglow. The Wranglow is pretty good, I will say that. They're all fantastic, let's be real. What are your carrier sheets made of? Love the striped heart, great choice. Thanks so much, Joan. I don't know the actual material, um, but I know it's like a, there is a coatedness on it um, that there's a little bit of like a, a tap, not tackiness, but um, you can feel a coatedness on the inner layers. And I am gonna trim this down just a wee little bit. I'm gonna trim about an eighth of an inch off each side, just like that. And then I shouldn't need that again, at least I hope not. All right, so what did I, oh, there it is. I, oh my God, I put my, I put my trimmer away with the toner sheet still on it. And I'm sitting here, I'm like, wait a minute, where did it go? <laughs> oh my goodness, just another day, another day. All right, we'll use the Tape Runner XL. I 
love this thing so much. I use my Tape Runner XL or dry adhesives a lot when it comes to toner card fronts and toner sheets, just because the dry adhesive prevents any sort of like buckling or warpedness from the paper. Sometimes a wet adhesive can do that. Not all the time, just sometimes. You know what? Let's see. I'm just gonna be careful. Sometimes though, the liquid adhesive is nice because it gives you a little bit of give. All right having a little bit of a sticky situation. So we're gonna fix this. And Justin's got ideas. So don't worry, stay tuned, Justin's got this. All right, so we've got this nice and matted. And then Justin's just gonna trim up here just a wee little bit. Just like that. All right, we got it. Perfect. So I've got a nice little framed effect going on. And then we're gonna go ahead and do some more Tape Runner XL. Ooh, yeah, just a little bit of a save, it's okay. Now let's see, we wanna make sure that this is nice and even. I'm gonna hold it down. That looks pretty good. All right. So I'll put it down just like that. Nobody will know. I agree. I agree. We always got to pivot a little bit, you know? Plus it's handmade. That's the important part. All right, so let's go ahead and we're gonna add a couple embellishments and then, oh, you know what, before the embellishments, let's put it on a card base. So hold on, let me grab my card base. I'll do more tape runner XL, lots of tape runner XL today. That's okay. All right. Go ahead. I'm going to line this up. Perfect. All right. We've got it on our card base quite perfectly, if I'm allowed to add. And let's add a couple embellishments. All right, I've got some iridescent bubbles. It's my go-to from Studio Katya. Y'all know I love these, but they work so well for Valentine's Day or love theme projects, so I couldn't resist. All right, so let's put some, I've got it in my Twiddler's Nook skull dish that I also love. Let's see. Now, let's talk a little bit while I'm getting my embellishments into place because we're getting towards the end of our live and I wanna tell you guys what our giveaway is tonight because it's pretty fantastic. So we are giving away our entire new release. So whoever tonight's winner is, you are going to get both the new Love Struck toner card fronts along with the new um, Love and Kisses adhesive transfer design. So that's gonna be absolutely fantastic. But in addition to that, you're also going to get both the Cherry, uh, Wild Cherry Deco Foil and the Red Deco Foil, along with the solid toner sheet. So you're gonna basically be able to recreate this card from start to finish. Um, all you might not have is that fancy die. So you're gonna have all the tools to recreate this yourself if you're tonight's winner. All right. All right, so we're gonna put these into place and we're gonna start gluing them down. I need a little bit of a smaller one. Sometimes my eyes play tricks on me and I think they're small and they're not that small. Yeah, that's not that small. But you know what? We're gonna try one more and if it's not that small, it's just, that's the name of the game. All right. <laughs> Julia wants to win, oh my goodness. All right. 
Gina, I agree that cherry red is a fantastic color. It's so good, I love it. All right, so let's put a couple of these into place. I try to use a little bit of glue of my Ultraviolet liquid adhesive. I don't wanna to use too much. Push that into place, push it down a little bit. All right. Perfect, all right. Just a little, little bit of glue. Well, you know what? Nothing happened. Ooh, a little bit right there. That's okay. I got it. I saved it. Ooh, haphazard tonight. All right. All right, everybody. So there we go. We've got our card for tonight's live all ready to go. Looks a little different from my original one. There's a little bit more spacing between the hearts, and that's okay. But overall, everything generally looks pretty much the same. Yeah, the heart's a little higher. Yeah, that's fine. So, all right. Oh, my goodness. You guys are all so, so sweet. Thank you guys all for your wonderful comments. I had so much fun making this one tonight with y'all. So, yeah. So, let's go ahead. We're going to recap what we made tonight. So, we went ahead and used our brand new release. We've got our Love Struck uh, toner card fronts. That's where this arrow design came from, and we did use it with our Wild Cherry Deco Foil. In addition to that, we did also use our Love and Kisses adhesive transfer designs. Uh, we went ahead and used that for our heart and for our sentiment, which we paired with Red Deco Foil. For the fancy frame, we did go ahead and use a solid toner transfer sheet and transferred that Wild Cherry Deco Foil right on top of it. We also used that piece to also use a little bit of trim. And if you guys tuned in a little bit of, uh, later, you're gonna see how I kind of made a little bit of a mistake when I was placing all of my layers and how I went ahead and saved it. So just know it happens with everybody when you make mistakes. So we've got everything all ready to go from tonight's live. Oh, you get my rag in view too. I apologize. So, oh my gosh, you guys are all so sweet. And thank you so much, Gina, for all your kind comments. I appreciate it. Um, so makes my night. So thank you guys. So I've got everything ready to go on my end. Let's see. So we went over that we've got a fantastic giveaway tonight for someone who participated in the live. And I know that soon uh, Julia is going to be picking a winner. Um, we've also, don't forget, we have a second opportunity to win on our blog. It's a $40 gift card giveaway. You will be able to enter on my blog post for tonight's live. So make sure that you guys take advantage of that as well. Um, in addition to that, what's also on my blog post today, we do have a special section now of our website dedicated to our Love is in the Air theme products. You're gonna find a lot of different ThermoWeb products that are gonna be different Valentine's Day colored and fit, uh, fit different themes. We've got some toner card fronts. Um, I wanna say there's also gonna be some other products you're gonna find in there as well. They're just slipping my mind at the moment for any sort of specifics. So make sure you check that out on the blog. Uh, where is my blog? Um, so it's the ThermoWeb blog. I'm sure that once uh, Julia is done picking a winner, we'll send a new link over um, and we'll go ahead and you guys can link to the ThermoWeb blog post for this card so you can check out everything. Might need just a second as it bumped me out. Oh, Julia, you're fine. We can just keep talking and have a fun time. And thank you for the blog post. Um, blog post posting. Oh my goodness. So yeah, so everything should be all there. Oh my goodness, you guys, this release is so fun. I know that this new toner card front pack is gonna get a lot of use. As you guys listened at the beginning of my live, you could use this arrow print for outdoors camping theme projects, scrapbook layouts, anything like that. And then we've also got the little scribbly hearts as well. Um, so that is definitely going to be a really fun design to use. Oh my goodness, you guys are so, so sweet. Thank you so much for all the kind comments. So we've got a winner. Our winner tonight is Don Strickland Lee. Oh my goodness, congratulations, Don. Um, I am going to be sending you a direct message sometime. Um, oh, Don's got a message too. Um, but I'm gonna be sending you a message shortly after tonight's live, just asking for a little bit of information so we can get your prize pack over to you. That you're, Don't forget, your prize pack is going to include the products from our brand new DecoFoil release. 
Um, so congratulations, Dawn. And then the other Dawn in our Facebook Live, she also had a good suggestion with our adhesive transfer designs. Um, like I was saying earlier, you can use our adhesive transfer designs for embossing powders. But in addition to that, Dawn's got a great point too. You can use it if you want to with glitters as well. And I think someone said pigment inks earlier is a possibility. So you've got lots of fun options when it comes to our adhesive transfer designs. I know I'm gonna have to play around with embossing powders because I own way too many embossing powders and I think it's about time I find new ways to use them. So I'm also going to be partaking in that. Um, all right, you guys. So a little bit of more information about what's coming your way. My next Facebook Live is going to be about two weeks from today. I actually think it's two weeks exactly on February 1st. Um, let me begin by saying that I cannot believe that we are already entering the end of January. The first month of 2023 will be coming to a close very soon, and that just is wild to me. But I know we've got a lot of fun things coming up on the way, um, a lot of things in the ThermoWeb uh, pipeline, uh, coming down the pipeline that's going to be a lot of fun. Um, but we've got another Facebook Live coming your way. I'm still kind of figuring out what I'm gonna make for y'all. I know it's gonna be something fun. I would expect something more along the lines of Valentine's Day. Of course, you're gonna see more foil, so be excited. Set those reminders for February 1st at 7 p.m. Central Time where I will be back sharing another live with you. Now, don't forget, if you may have missed one of my lives, you can always head over to the YouTube channel for ThermoWeb where we do upload all of our previous lives for you to go ahead and watch at your leisure. It's a great idea if you want to go ahead and subscribe. Is it called subscribing? Yep, yeah, like or subscribe. That's what the tag is for YouTube. Go ahead and subscribe to the ThermoWeb channel on on YouTube and we'll go ahead and you'll get all of those fun updates whenever a new video comes out from either the paper or the fabric education team or we also post videos there as well featuring our brand new released products um, so make sure to check out our YouTube page it's a great place to be uh, so let's go ahead and let's get everything closed out. I want to thank everybody for being here tonight. Congratulations to our winner, Don. Don, like I said, I will be reaching out to you soon so we can get your prize all situated. Um, so I'll end with, once again, my name is Justin Atkins. I am part of the paper education team here at ThermoWeb, along with one of the group admins for our ThermoWeb craft room group. I want to thank you guys all so, so much for being here tonight. It's always a pleasure going live with you guys. I have so much fun. We have such a great group of people here that tune into our lives and we always get some newbies here as well who become longtime watchers as well. So I'll be back soon. I've got fun stuff planned as does the rest of the fabric and the paper team for you guys. Um, and we'll look forward to seeing you in a couple weeks. Thank you all for being here tonight. Have a wonderful rest of your Wednesday and stay crafty. Goodbye.